Yeah, I've really, it's basically stapled them to my head for the time being, but they will not stay. We have Team Nigma versus PSG LGD. Before, oh my god, we're gonna get first blood already, potentially. The Kofi did connect on the Y. First blood for PS or for Nigma, I should say. Got a long way to go, and something tells me that LGD will eventually find this kill. But was it worth? I mean, that's three bounties. Sure. And they got yeah, first yeah, blood already. Sure. Not so, bad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, he did use his fairy fire, but uh, no big deal. I mean, that's that's kind of a big deal. It's a bit of a big deal. Yeah. I think that's an issue here. So, what are your thoughts on the lineup? So, do you just looking at the lineups alone and not the teams? Who would you favor, and why? I, I, Break I, it down, Jenkins. Okay, please. I will definitely professional analysis. I really like this AA hero. I, I think that like every single meta hero, there's a lot of meta heroes that it combos with incredibly well, and then it also blocks like basically half of the strong cheesy meta heroes. Right. So in almost every game, it feels like just the perfect position five. So I'm huge. A huge fan of this hero. But then on the other side, I think Faceless Void uh, was undervalued during the wildcard stage. The group stage team seemed to be picking it a lot. And uh, I think I think this like tanky boy Faceless Void where you're just completely unkillable and then you have some other sources of damage for the Chronosphere, I think that's incredibly hard to deal with. I yeah, see W taking some pressure from Faith Beyond. Uh, of course, it's kind of like an undying hero. Like you, you actually see this in every single game with the ET, where he just like runs in until he basically dies or he kills you. And it's position position five, so you don't care, right? He's just gonna come back with like two solves for the carry. The carry has full resources, ready to go. Carry's getting solo XP, and then you've traded resources to actually kill this hero. And it's a lot of the time it's not worth it. They do have crazy wombo combo potential though, with the Chronosphere into the ET ult and right. Snapfire ult, like. And obviously the mobility from nothing to say here in Ember Spirit is playing this very close. He's gonna pop that fairy fire along with Miracle. TP support in the way of Jin Q. Oh, the help saving. He gets the, the bottle there as well. Miracle also able to live, so living on the edge from both sides. Yeah, that's it. The animation was still on him from the cold feet, but it like the damage ticks were over, so that was almost Oh! oh. Did he get it? Does he have vision? Oh my goodness! Jin Q pushed this lane pretty much by himself. It's gonna take essentially two ults to do so solo. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then on the other side, Wraith King can obviously just go jungle. Yeah. Struggling out, which he's not really I mean, he's a little bit behind, but not compared to the void. Yeah, I think you're much more okay with a Wraith King jungling than a Void. Void is more hero than... Really? Yes, of course. My goodness, that's, that's shocking to hear. When you have the Chrono, you can actually leave the lane and you're you're okay with it because, of course, you can actually get kills. Yeah. But the Wraith King, it's like, he wants to jungle from like 10 minutes onward anyway. And Miracle finally makes the rotation here. Coil and Waning Rift into two. He finds the Snapfire extremely easily. Time Dilation is not going to save Mr. Ame this time around, so... I mean, he didn't go to the lane, he went to the jungle and he found two very valuable kills. Yeah, he's gonna get a couple stacks here too. The stacks definitely make this make this worth it. I mean, and this is, once again, this is the thing, you know, punishing the Void, who's a hero who's not really that good at jungling. It's, it takes so long to get that level six just hitting jungle creeps. Like, he'd rather take a lane, but going and taking this bot lane, so well, Faith Beyond's owning, so you really wanna push him out of there. All right, Mind Control does get the tower. It might cost him his life, probably worth it. That is a very long TP for Faith Beyond. Wants to get his first dual victory of the game. Miracle, of course, without the coil, but I mean, just his presence alone, he does so much damage even this early. The Splinter Blast is going to destroy LGD for now, but there's the Echo Stomp from Y. Can he set this up with anything else? Of course, he's not level 6 yet, so nothing to combo for him. So he's going to get Presti Attack off that Dragon Tail. They're going to turn this around a little bit uh, for Nigma. I mean, they completely outnumbered the Elder Titans, so perhaps sticking around a little too long for PSG LGD. Dude, this is a Chad build from Miracle. He has literally no points in phase shift. He has 4-4-0 four, four, right really? now. This guy wow. is Radiant's just so sure is that he is not attack. going to die. <laughs> He just wants to do damage. Oh, oh, the chrono it misses. Oh, miracle. I can't believe I just said that. He just jumps oh, out. Oh, God. God. All right, well, Ame going to get cookie. Oh, that could have been really bad out of the coil. He's still on death's door, though. Miracle's still going in. Finds the kill, but dies shortly after Kuroki. Looks like he's going to get solo killed by Jin Q's ult. And nothing to say? I mean, they're getting some turnaround kills here. So He's going to catch up with Chronospheres, right? Because he's got all of these great combos in the Chrono. True. Even Ember having such a good game right now, he does a lot of damage into the Chrono. Uh -oh. Link Dagger reveal from Mind Control. That is going to be ridiculously easy. So nothing to say, despite... Getting that kill earlier. Dyer's middle tower. He's gonna not only die, but lose his tier one tower. And this is only 11 and a half minutes in. Of course, it wards. And we see a smoke here from, from LGD. ILTW. I'm not sure if he's holding it. Okay, he actually does get the point. He doesn't have mana. Hole, but he doesn't have mana. Yeah, 
actually stunned? He's, no, he's, he's summoned summon skeleton. Oh, it's a hundred mana. Yeah, that is truly unfortunate, but the SG LG are gonna try to take advantage of this. They're gonna lose one in the process. If they can get out, this will be an extremely good trade. Yeah, that was uh, I mean how much mana is so they, they is that skill these days? It's it's a hundred. They I think they just nerfed it from seventy to hundred. So he actually yeah. would have had mana. Oh they actually find the coil, but there's a press the attack we're talking about. Into the dragon tail though. Can he get off the remnant in time? He's still silenced. And another great kill for Enigma is they're just gonna chase Jin Q down. Miracle frontlining for his team. Mind control in his human useless form, not able to find anybody. Oh, there we go. Not useless anymore. Jumps in, flies away for now. He's very tanky. Has a soul ring bracer. Uh, what do you buy for mind control this game, you think, based on how this game is going to get dual, dual damage? damage. I, I don't think it's that important. That, I mean, that's the sad as, reality. As much as it pains, <laughs> I, I know this is paining you for the, uh, to even does. have this discussion right now, yeah. but... I just want to make a point that it's a support hero. It, it definitely is. Solar press type. All right. A blast to set things up. Miracle still has coil. Doesn't even need it. Very, very easy. He's going a desolator, by the way, so pure damage here. The LGD are not too far, and they have a crazy Roche potential. Like they do. Testing. Yeah, I, I mean, with Chrono, they could maybe fight this. I guess the only... Oh, they scan. All right, they know. I mean, they have Elder Titan, they have Chrono, they have Snap. Oh, Snap Fire's here, and they're trying to scout for it. It's going to get silenced right away. And the coil onto two, Elder Titan ult to follow, but it's going to be dodged. And Jin going to be the first casualty of Warriors. My control links in, if they can find this kill be pretty big on the LC, not able to get any dual off, and of course with no save available, I think that's pretty safe to get Roche now. That was a very good thing about these things, okay? That's why we are banned, usually banned together, but because Cinderin is uh, MIA yeah. for today. Thank goodness for, for shrimp. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. Back to you, the code. This does make sense. Give, give him a second life so that way he can mess this up, and I mean, not that he has been playing insane this game. It gives them a little extra room to work with. We're gonna see the initiation out of nothing to say. The press the attack takes off the stun, but not all that damage. And of course the AA blast connected. I mean, you're not gonna get any heal from the press the attack anyway, so. Man, Faith Beyond really needs this Ag Shard. Is he coil? He has coil. Oh, he's gonna use it. He's only gonna hit one. His Chromosphere onto two to fall, but how much damage do they actually have? Remember, this is the Aegis Miracle. There's the curse to buy him a little bit of time, and they can just turn this around. Yeah, this is just getting out of control in favor of Team Nygma. Will he continue on here? Yep. Nothing to fear for Miracle as ILTW is there with a Wraith Fire Blast as well. Reading Faith Beyond. Nice body blocks by Miracle. And this will likely be a fourth kill in their favor. Snapfire ult to follow though, and the buyback onto the Elder Titan, but he doesn't have his ultimate. We'll see how much turnaround potential they have. Oh, he actually does have his ultimate. Okay, it just came off. I think, I think the way that they can win this game is they need somebody to go in first and set things up. That's probably going to be the Ember Spear and then set up for like a three-man chrono into Snap and Earth Splitter. I, I, I think that's... Oh, All right, we'll coil again. No follow-up, although the AA Blast is coming. All right. Does hit onto Y. Let's see if Mind Control can link and get a kill. There was... Ooh, All right, duel onto Miracle, but there's the Cold Embrace. Save, a great counter to that hero. And of course, still with Aegis, not really fearing death right now. There's the Curse. Okay. Just buying more time. Miracle still with the double damage. Doesn't want to die right away just because that DD will go away, but he will find his way to the grave, or the Aegis grave if you want to call it that. And now, Team Nygma, they did lose the AA, but I believe they're just going to continue to fight. So they're going to focus onto poor old uh, Ember Spirit. And they'll take that trade any day of the week. Still AK Network. Yeah, he was trying to get involved in this smoke. That, that By the way, happening. it was an AC uh, for ILTW, so they won't be stacked against this time around. Miracle, knowing that a lot of these ultimates are down, he's just going to completely destroy Ame, but there's a Chronosphere counter. He's not going to be able to do any damage on top of it. He actually catches his teammate. Thanks for the save, Faith Beyond. It's going to cost you your precious little life. Ember Spirit, nothing to say. Flash lose. Oh, they still see him over there. Oh, they do. I thought he was out, actually. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. They find him anyway. Maybe it was like the ice will like, maybe they're close to an item on the void. Just wait for that. Oh, we're gonna jump in here with Miracle. All right, there's the save from the LC. Okay, we'll turn this around though. Miracle's in a bit of trouble here. AA Blast is coming in. Nothing safe pops his BKB. Elder Titan ult goes off as well. Miracle does drop. 70 seconds, no buyback. I believe Team Nygma need to get GTFO. That's a GGTFO apparently. It's GH. Okay, and that, again. Okay. And that is another dual victory. All right, so a little bit too aggressive there. 
for Mr. Miracle, it looks like. And this is actually really good for PSG LGD because Roche will be up by the time Puck is up. And this is, I feel like that is where they could potentially come back because their lineup is built for taking uh, Roche like fight. taking advantage of yeah the Roche fight in yep. general. Yeah, that, that's the small a, AOE. That's the nice thing about having like a faceless void, especially when you have some combos to go with it. You're never really out of the game where it's like okay, there's literally no way for us to to, to win this game. Right, this works as well. Okay, they're just gonna. They take have it. some minus armor in the form of the old snap fire. Look, he's slowly doing it to keep the minus armor up. I like that. Middle tower is under attack. Of course, they did nerf that skill recently, so it's not as much minus armor as before. But they do have a solar crest of course. Hey, blast coming in. Yikes, that hurts. This is going to be kind of slow, and Miracle's up in 10 seconds, so... Oh my god, could be easy just... by Alec, by dying to get a kill very easily, just walks in. That's going to be a buyback on the LC. Do Searing Chains on a couple heroes. Echo Stomp to follow, though. If they can get Ame here, this would be pretty big. Has a Chrono Spear. Might have to spend it here, pop the BKB. There it is. Where is the follow-up? Why? No. No ultimate to work with, and this damage is just pathetic from the old Void. They get the duel off. It actually is a kill onto the Dragon Knight. Mind Control does find his way to the grave. Nice curse to follow, though. This is going to be followed with the Wraith King ultimate, so he will be back pounding away. Jin Q gets pressed the attack, but actually a nice cookie. That is another kill onto Miracle with no buyback. All right, and PSG LGD does have basically a press the attack, does counter to a degree, but I mean, kind of. It has to be LC out of the coil and doing it, and it can only save one person. Another E on disc, too, on the, uh, the Winter Wyvern GH, so. That's, oh, that's a nice round, though. Right, and it's already popped for GH. Mind Control pops his ult in the meantime. And that is the new Axe Coil you just saw. I don't think he realized that was there. And nothing to say. Oh, he dies. Ame in the meantime. He has Chrono, but basically no HP. He finds GH. That's a Winter's Curse. Mind Control flapping his wings, trying to get as close as he can. So the BKB, that is a long duration. Blink Dagger soon for Mind Control. So I think they chase him, yeah. He, the, the, Huh? Maybe not. ILTW is just going ham in the base. He's just throwing it. Objective based gaming. Yeah, Ame is just too difficult to catch. He's going to be able to TP out here. Mind Control has the poor man's axe with the spider legs on the Dragon Knight. Don't get the magic resistance and all the extra stats. Of course not. You can walk through cliffs. Yeah, you're a pathetic okay. offlaner. You don't get an actual axe. You guys get the poor man's axe. Yeah, GG is called. So, Team Enigma, I mean, they look quite good. Quite good this game. Yeah, that was, that was insane. I mean, honestly. All of their players played incredibly well that game. I, I can't think of anything that was like a blunder.